Hey guys, it's Crystal, and today I'm gonna be talking about the Pixel 3 XL and my first day with it, and just give you guys my first thoughts, you know? I just realized Crystal rhymes with Pixel. Pixel, Crystal, Crystal, Pixel. Right? So before I start talking about the phone itself, it wasn't only my first day with the Pixel 3 XL, but also my first Google event ever, and it was pretty awesome, let me tell you. Had such a grand old time. And I know a lot of people were a little disappointed with the keynote because they were expecting a little more from Google, especially after that tweet that they tweeted yesterday. But even so, it's always cool to see new stuff. Like besides the Pixel 3 and 3 XL, we also saw the Pixel Slate, Google's new nice and big tablet, which also comes in this lovely bluish color. And I actually took portrait selfies on it. Like you can pick up your tablet and with the front facing camera, take a portrait selfie. I don't recommend it, but it's there. And in the smart home department, Google never comes short. I really love all their smart home stuff, like the Home Mini and the Google Home. But now we have the new Google Home Hub, which is a mix of a smart speaker and a smart display for your kitchen, living room, bedroom. You can place it anywhere in your home and it'll look good. And I really love the colors that it comes in, like that pink and blue are calling my name. But the best part about it is its price is only $149. So I'm really excited to test that out when it comes out because if it's good, that's a pretty good price. So after checking out some of the devices on the show floor today at the event, Google gave me this little, well, big goodie bag that was holding my Pixel 3 XL along with some other goodies. Shout out to Google for letting me take a look at the device today. And yeah, I opened it up. So I got my Google goodie bag. Let's see what's in here. Where's the phone? Right, we have the new Pixel stand. Oh, uh, Mickey, it's a mount for your Google Home Mini. Chromecast, nice touch. Pixel 3 XL case. And the Pixel 3 XL in just black. Here it is in hand. And after that, I took the phone along with me throughout my day in New York City. And the first thing that I gotta talk about is the camera because I am loving the camera on here. I actually took a good amount of photos throughout my day and videos and yeah, like, I mean, you guys know the Pixel 2, one of my favorite smartphone cameras ever, the Pixel 2 and 2XL. And now with the 3 and 3XL, probably gonna be one of my new favorites. Even though it doesn't appear too different with that single 12.2 megapixel camera on the back, still got that one camera on the back, but still taking some pretty amazing looking pictures at first glance. And there's also a lot of cool new camera features on here. There's something new called Top Shot that seems like it could be pretty handy in everyday use because it's especially perfect for those moments when somebody blinks or if the photo came out a little blurry. With Top Shot, it'll essentially take like a video clip, like a live photo of that picture and save those frames before and after the photo was taken. And yeah, after you took that photo, if it didn't come out too great, you can swipe up on it and select different frames, but the camera will actually recommend when that photo was at its best. Like if somebody, it actually knows when somebody was smiling wider or if their eyes were open wider or if the photo was less blurry at a particular moment, which is really cool. And it'll add HDR plus and just enhance the photo to its best resolution. Another cool feature that I couldn't test out myself because it's not available on the phone yet, but it will be available in like a month or two with a software update hopefully is night sight. Imagine this room, but with all the lights off, you can take a photo and it'll bring in light into that photo. It actually, if you have the camera app open, it'll suggest that you do use night sight and yeah, you'll take that photo and it'll just bring in so much more light by stitching different photos together. Honestly though, out of all the things with this camera, the most impressive thing to me right now is just how much machine learning has improved on it and making your overall smartphone picture taking experience that much better. Like, it's just a lot harder to take a bad photo with a camera that knows what it's taking a picture of. But aside from that, taking things to the front, we have two selfie cameras in that notch that we'll talk about in a little bit. But yes, we have a regular selfie cam and the second selfie camera is a wide angled lens for a wider angled selfie, which I feel like should be on every smartphone now. Like why would you want a close up selfie? You always gonna want more in the shot, more people in the shot. It just looks really cool. It's nice to have the option on there. And I did take advantage of that and take a lot of wider angled selfies. I switched between those two lenses today. But what's also cool is that not only are they wide angled, but you can also take wide angled portrait selfies. 
and so far I am loving the look of that too. I'm definitely gonna be taking more of those and taking a closer look at them down the road, but so far looking so good. There's just so many camera features that I wanna test out but didn't get the time to because I only had a day with it. But when it comes to video, there's motion autofocus. You can actually lock onto a subject and keep that in focus while you're taking video of it. And another thing to point out that I kinda of mentioned before is yeah, like we have one camera on here so we don't have that second telephoto lens that we usually see on a dual camera setup, which I actually do end up using a lot in those phones, but we do now have something called super res zoom that lets you zoom in before you take a photo and keep as much detail and as many things as sharp and clear as possible when you do take that photo. But like I said before, I will definitely be taking a full detailed look at this camera compared to other smartphone cameras and future camera comparisons. But for now, after just one day, gotta say, camera is looking Pretty solid, my friends. Aside from the camera though, what do I think about the notch? Well, honestly, like in pictures, the notch looks huge. And I will say in person, the notch is pretty big, but being that notches are becoming just more regular, I feel like after using it, you just get used to it. Like just from a daily, I feel like I'm getting used to it. It doesn't like seem as big as it first did when I saw it. You can always go with the Pixel 3 and not the XL if you really hate that notch but love the cameras because the cameras are all the same, the same camera system all throughout, but you will be losing the battery size and also the Quad HD display. Even though they're both OLED, this one is Quad HD, the other one is at 1080. And specifically talking about the displays compared to last year's, already automatically better on these phones because we're not seeing any of that blue shift at all. That did get better with some softer updates on the older phone, but right off the bat, this phone seems like it won't deal with any of that. Being that this is a Google device, it does have the latest version of Android, Android 9 on it. You don't have to wait for any updates or anything, which is cool. And I'm also excited to just like customize the phone more and just make it more of my own. But I also was just watching some YouTube videos on here earlier and without any earbuds or anything. And the sound sounds really good out of the speakers. It sounds like deeper, like more bass to it. But I am looking forward to comparing it to the previous Pixel 2 because those sounded pretty good, but this one just sounds a little better. And just like in the camera, the phone all around seems like it's getting smarter and smarter, especially with Google Duplex rolling out in these next month. There's something called call screen with Google Assistant that will actually screen your calls. Like if you're getting an incoming call and you don't know where it's coming from, like it might be spam or some random like telemarketing company that's calling you that you don't want to deal with, you can have Google Assistant answer that call for you and actually it'll actually have a conversation with that person. You don't have to do any talking. Google Assistant will pick up the phone for you and talk and you can see the whole conversation that's happening. Like it'll convert to text and you can see what's happening and then you decide if you want to pick it up or not. But apart from that, I'm also realizing that battery life seems like it's held up pretty well. Like I've been using it all day and we're at a solid 23% and it's already super late. And yeah, overall so far a great first First day with this phone. I think the only thing that's still sticking out to me is the notch. I do feel like I'm gonna get used to it, but it is, especially when you're looking at videos like horizontally, like it does stand out a little bit, but I guess we'll see down the road. Let me know what you guys wanna know in a full review of this phone in the comments below. And also just let me know your first thoughts. What do you guys think of the Pixel 3 and 3XL and everything else that was announced? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.